Thank you, Bev. When Ann Wiseman bought a package of stamps created to honor Raoul Wallenberg, she got the shock of her life. She thought the photo of a young woman featured alongside the man who saved 100,000 Hungarian Jews during World War II looked exactly like her mother, Judith. On Thursday, Canada Post formally recognized Judith as the woman on the stamp. Judith and her daughter, Anne Wiseman, are with me now. Good morning to the both of you. This is such an incredible story. Uh, my jaw is on the ground. So, Anne, let's begin with you. Tell us how you discovered your mom on this stamp. And we've got it, a copy of it right here, and we can see your mom in the corner. I went to go see a movie about Raoul Wallenberg on a Wednesday night with my husband, and um, following uh, the screening of the movie, they told us that a stamp was going to be issued by Canada Post in honor of Wallenberg. And um, so the next day, it was available the following day in post offices. I went, I purchased the stamp, and I just threw the stamps into my purse. I was on the way to my uh, younger son's swimming class. and. Um, so I didn't even look at it till the next day. I, I opened my purse, I t you know, took my Blackberry out, my glasses, my day timer, you know, I, all my stuff. And um, then I thought, oh, look, the stamps. I forgot to look at it. So I pulled the stamps out. I opened the, the envelope. And um, I looked first at the outside of the stamp yep. and thought, wow, that girl on the stamp really looks a lot like my mother. <laughs> and then I, I said, I'd put my glasses on. So I put my glasses on, and very much to my surprise, I said, that isn't someone that looks like my mother. It is my mother. And so when your daughter <laughs> called you to tell you, did you have any idea? No, no, none whatsoever. I asked her to repeat it as I couldn't believe it. How did they get your image? Well, we have a theory. I'm not sure that it's, it's correct. But the assumption is that uh, when a statue was unveiled in Toronto, uh, we attended uh, that ceremony with my husband. The statue of Wallenberg. Uh, uh, and we both brought our shoots passes uh, along and presented it to Raoul Wallenberg's sister, who was present at the unveiling, and gave it to her. Now, years later, uh, uh, we heard that uh, she made a little museum in her own home as the Swedish government didn't give the honor to Wallenberg. And uh, she put my uh, framed Schutzpass on the wall in her little home museum. Okay, so can we talk about Raoul Wallenberg and the Schutzpass and what it meant? Yes. Well, um, in 1944, uh, you were 14. I was 14, and uh, uh, the German Nazis occupied Hungary. And uh, consequently, all Jews were uh, in a, a position where we, we could have deported any time at the wish of the Germans. And uh, Wallenberg came to Budapest with the uh, specific uh, uh, role to try to save as many Jews as it's still possible. By that time, those who were living in the outside provinces were already taken, most of them unfortunately, to Auschwitz, and many, many of them in the gas chambers, uh, among them many of my own relatives. Uh, we didn't know about uh, the faith of them at that time, but we knew that not much good is waiting for us. So uh, we were very lucky, as my father uh, was an export-import businessman and had Swedish connections, and his Swedish business friend from Sweden arranged it that we did, did get one of the first Schutz passes. Uh, my number was 145. Can we hold that up? And so this was what enabled you to leave, to be well, safe? We, we couldn't leave the country, but it was a, a, a very smart document. It was something between a, a, a passport and an ID. Mm -hmm. or, but all in all, 
most of the authorities, the Nazis accepted it. Not always, and there were unfortunately mishaps, but and people were killed in spite of having the shoot passes. But uh, fortunately, uh, we were saved my, my, with my parents and my grandmother, my aunt, uh, with the shoot passes. Coincidentally, my husband, whom I didn't know at that time, as I was 14 and and he was 21, and we didn't even know each other. He also got a, a, a Schutzpass uh, by him being at the railway station, uh, just uh, ready to be re deported. And uh, he found that there was a group there who were Swedes, and uh, he jumped over. He had no papers. He jumped over, took the risk of being shot, and then got a, a Swedish uh, shoots pass and was also saved. Judith but we Weiss. only met four years later. Oh, my goodness. I wish we had more time with you. Judith Wiseman, Ann Wiseman, thank you so much. What an incredible story. I have goosebumps. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back after this break. <laughs>